Hey guys, welcome to day 195 of my carnivore journey. Guys, I hope you're having a good journey. If not, let me know about it in the comments. Uh, guys, thank you for all the updates in the comments, though. Seriously, love you guys. I couldn't do this without you. I'm serious. It's There's something about having a, a community or having friends and family do this with you. And even if you don't have anybody in your real life doing it with you, you know, having supportive friends online definitely helps. Now, my roommate has been doing it. Of course, guys, go check out the Carnivore Tales. Um, that way, you know, you can support his journey as well. He needs all the help he can get. All right. So first things first, um, again, sometimes I'm trying to keep up with daily, but it's been almost every other day sometimes here. Um, but I'm, again, trying to keep the frequency up with you guys. Um, Carnivore pizza is what I had today. I didn't eat anything else. I saved all my calories for carnivore pizza. Um, my roommate is a huge pizza fan. Like he worked at a pizza place for many, many years and he loves pizza. He didn't get burnt out on it, unfortunately. Right. But he loves pizza. So he's, you know, was, was needing to satisfy a craving. So I made, carnivore pizzas slash keto again this is more keto style anytime i have my carnivore pizzas i make them keto style why do i keep calling them carnivore pizzas because some of you it's it's optional just like toppings right some people love everything on their pizza some people love a bunch of meat some people love just pepperoni some people love you know you know what i mean so it's kind of a mixed match you don't have to have the keto sauce that i have um, I make a very simple, clean, you know, pizza sauce and uh, it's a delicious sauce. It's just that little bit of tomato on my pizza. That's going to be the, the keto part. Um, beyond that though, you can make it carnivore. You don't have to use the sauce. Anyways, I had that today and it was really good, really yummy. The other thing is, um, yesterday. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to post yesterday, but I did eat the dry age. I had a steak where I had salted it and left it in the fridge uncovered um, for two days. And then I put it on the grill, actually grilled it. It did taste really good. I did eat the whole thing. Um, is it something that like was a huge step above the way that I make steaks normally, I would say probably not. Um, only because I really have learned how to make my steaks like right out of the package, really good, like high level steaks. Am I appreciative of, you know, the suggestion of the dry age? Absolutely. I think it's really good. I've never had it before. I tried it and it was good, you know, and I think sometimes I probably will. If I get, it's like, if I buy three or four steaks, I might take a couple of them, uncover them and dry age them again while I have the other ones, you know? Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm down with it. I'm down with it to do more of it in the future. Uh, maybe it'll grow on me, but for the most part, I just take them out of the package and salt them up and, get a nice hot pan or skillet, fry them up, you know, and, and cook them usually really good. They're juicy. And so, like I said, did I notice a huge difference? Now I will say the nice thing about what I did is I actually fired up the grill. So it was a charcoal grill. And so uh, we got to have steaks on the charcoal grill and that always adds that extra smoky, you know, there's like that smoky charcoal flavor, right? You know what I mean? You just can't, um, you can't duplicate that even with liquid smoke. <laughs> a lot of that liquid smoke is bad for you anyways, uh, with the chemicals they have to use. But anyways, um, but you figure, you know, cooking over open flame is how we've been doing it for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. We were, we've been cooking meat. Um, cooked meat. We weren't eating raw meat for, I mean, hundreds of thousands of years. We weren't eating raw meat. We were cooking it on open flame. So the 
So really, if you really want to go back to the roots of mankind, um, we were eating it over open flame. Uh, probably not charcoal, probably just wood. Uh, but uh, I didn't do any like wood smoked or anything like that. It was just, it was just charcoal. Anyways, good, good, good. Uh, but I liked it. Again, I liked the dry age. Like I said, the carnivore pizza was great. Um, it was just a good treat, if you will. Um, keto pizza for some of you picky, you know, split hair kind of people. Um, but day 195 today. So we are getting close. Was it day 210, I think, is the um, way in. Right. Is that right? Is that my 30 days from, from 180? Yeah. So day 210. So that is about two weeks from now. All right. So um, I don't know how things are going to go, but I do know that I'm probably at that point going to push myself to do lion diet. However, I might modify it. I don't know if it'll be called a lion diet, but what I may do is I may start doing like eggs like I'm going to get away from the hot dogs, right? Remember, I'm always eating hot dogs every day. I'm going to get away from hot dogs. I'm going to go with just strictly maybe two eggs if I'm if I'm hungry in the daytime. And then I'm going to go with uh, steak or ground beef and salt. Like I'm just going to do ruminant meat and salt and water. And I may even give up coffee um, in two weeks for and, – and, and even if it's not forever – but even just temporary. See, it makes me want to drink some just thinking about it. So, yes, I got my coffee. <laughs> so, um, other than that, I mean, I've been feeling good. You know, is this diet going to be sustainable for the rest of my life? I hope so. I hope so. I just feel like if I just keep doing this and focus more on life than food, then, then that's, then that's big time. Again, there's a, a small part of me that still wants to blend into some of society, you know, when I'm constantly surrounded by people that when you go out in public and you see like skinny people, even buff people, people that seem to be in, you know, in shape. Um, and they get to like, enjoy these little desserts, you know, like I see, like I saw this kind of like weightlifting dude having like a little parfait, you know, and, and it wasn't huge. He wasn't fat guy pigging it out, but just a small little parfait. And I'm like, man, you know, and then in those psychological tricksters of the devil inside of you is like, oh my God, you know, what if, like, you know, I mean, these guys appear to be healthy and, and, you know, they're getting to enjoy this scrumptious little tree. It's not a lot. And, but I have to always remind myself that I can't do that. I can't do moderation. I can't. It's going to get bigger and bigger. If, if I allow myself, like I, like the other night when I almost tricked myself into having French vanilla creamer. It's just going to get bigger. You know, it'll be the creamer. And then pretty soon, uh, I would suspect at that point, I would talk myself into um, probably some type of like, I would, I would probably, one of my old habits was the jalapeno cheese curl or the, the ghost pepper cheese curls or whatever, or jalapeno. Or really, I don't know. Anyways, um, I would probably talk myself into getting one bag of those and be like, oh, this is just my tree. I'm going to have one bag. And then I probably, and again, each time I would probably back off for a while. But then that urge would come back going, you know what? I had that, I had that French vanilla creamer a while back. Nothing came of it. Yeah, I was a little achy, whatever, but my weight was good. Yeah, I had that bag of, of cheese curls, but I'm good. I've been good. So now I think I deserve, you know, what if this time, like, you know what? I think if I just maybe do one candy bar, like maybe one of my old Reese's peanut butter cups or something like, what if I just did that? 
like a Reese's peanut butter cup every once in a while. See, and I just talk myself into, but meanwhile, I'm slowly working my progression up. And pretty soon it'll, it'll go from that to like maybe a weekend where I'll do it on a Saturday or something like Saturday night or probably Friday night because, you know, I'm working. Um, so I'll probably stop by a Friday night. I'm night at the gas station, grab a Reese's or something. And then maybe like Saturday or something like, you know, it's, it's the weekend, you know, it's, it's the weekend. I'll have another little dessert. It, it ain't going to be, and then I'll be right back on everything. And I, I'm just going to keep talking to myself and it'll just keep growing and growing. And that's, that's the slip up. That's where it's always bitten me in the ass because I've always done that in the past. Some steeper progressions than others. Some I just gave in pretty quick and some took more time gradually, like, like I'm talking about. So you have to know yourself and know this, the, the long pitfall that you can enter if you allow yourself that, that slip. So keep up the fight, keep strong. Don't give in to hate. <laughs> Don't give in to the dog side. All right, guys. I love you guys, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.